right, here it is. So we're gonna be doing this today. We're gonna be turbocharging this John Deere 330 diesel tractor. So these come with a stock, stock, they come with a Yanmar uh, little diesel three cylinder. But you can see the muffler right here, which we're gonna be removing. Hopefully this comes off without too much effort. Get this panel off of here, and then we'll size up this little tiny smart car turbo that we picked up this is from max peating rods they've got everything jeez so i wanted to you know find a cost effective approach at this and this is what i came up with so this little turbo should fit somewhere around there that'll look pretty cool and then it'll connect directly to the intake here and then the inlet here will come around and just go into the turbo and then we'll run a downpipe somewhere around here. Hopefully it can kind of come across here and come out the stock area. But first things first, let's get this apart. Let's get this muffler off and see how we're gonna be able to mate this turbo up to this tractor. Okay, now in true haggard fashion, this is how I'm going to make this thing work. I got these two pieces of iron here at the local hardware store, and I am going to literally weld them to the manifold so that the turbo comes right up off of it. Let's see, don't hate. I think it's gonna work. We'll see how we can do it. Let's see how this fits. Go ahead and put this on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. This is the first glimpse of our turbo setup. And I think that's a good fit. Nice and tight, super close. Um, oil lines is gonna be my issue here because as you can see, the drain is right in line with the valve cover here. So I'm gonna have to come up with something. It's gonna be a really tight, deal there um the other option is to drop it down and go down to the pan but i don't want to do all that if i could get it just to come over here i'm gonna be able to clock the turbo or something a little bit and get an elbow to go in there that would be killer so let's let's work on that next and then the feed line is gonna go from here right across to there's a pressure sensor down there we're gonna get a t on so we'll go over there and then we'll work on getting our inlets hooked up. And then we should be golden. But first, let's get this exhaust buttoned up so that the turbo is hung and mounted. And then oil lines. Those are the main things right now. Okay, getting late, but we have got something going here. As you can see, the turbocharger is mounted up. I've begun the piping, which is just basically some radiator hose. It goes directly right across here. Now I'm doing the intake, which is gonna go obviously right there. We've got our oil line plumbed, and we've gotta do our downpipe. I have a couple of bends coming in the mail. They didn't get here today, unfortunately, so it's gonna to be tomorrow. But it'll be in this video, don't worry. Um, but we'll just run the downpipe. My goal is to get it to come down right here and stay inside of the metal work. So hopefully I can do that, if not, we're gonna hit it. We're gonna do a stack. <laughs> I'm prepared. But anyway, as you can see, it's a very tight little package. It's uh, it's in there, nice and snug. And um, I really don't care if it makes too much boost or not. We'll see. I'm just gonna let her swing as hard as it goes, and uh, it'll probably only be like three or four pounds of boost, I'm sure, which is better than nothing. That's the point. Um, the idea behind this is really just to take away some of the. Um, when it bogs down, when I get into some like really, really tough situations, the, the throttle up uh, with all the fuel is going to generate a little bit more power. We need airflow in order to keep that cool, so the turbo is doing that. It's not the same as like a gas car where you just start pounding boost and it just makes more power because you're forcing more air into the cylinder. In this case, you are forcing more air into the cylinder, and you do make a little more power, but the biggest gain here is cooling off your EGTs. So, we're gonna try and turn the fuel up eventually, not right now at this moment, 
and uh, and see how much boost she makes. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, let me get this plumbing buttoned up. I'm excited to actually fire this thing up and, well, it's not gonna make much noise. Look at that little tiny turbo, Jesus. Okay, so here goes the obligatory no downpipe startup. I did bolt the downpipe flange on here, so that's gotta account for something. But uh, let's see what she does. I'm not expecting much. Again, fuel's not turned up, no load. So ugh, just looking to make sure we don't get any leaks or anything, but everything's hooked up. You can see the air filters nicely run. That's how it should be. No, no interference anywhere. I did just touch this a little bit so it doesn't touch, technically. So uh, that's good. Now we, we've got plenty of room in here to shoot the exhaust down when we do get that pipe tomorrow. It'll go right out the stock exit. So without further ado, let's start this thing up. First start with the turbo hooked up. tractor I don't think it's gonna make much boost again just as it's sitting here we'll get the exhaust hooked up we'll turn the fuel up then we'll get out there and load test it it should start to make some boost this is the smallest turbo I could find this is off of a smart car and again this is uh max peating rods they had this so shout out to max peating rods for having the tiniest turbo on the face of the freaking planet <laughs> this thing would be good on like a little motorcycle or something also so this motor is like a 600cc diesel. It's not very big, but uh, it's definitely it's definitely a torque monster. And this is not going to hurt. So, okay, I'm going to go home for now, but we'll get to the morning and get that downpipe made up. All right, and just like that, it's the next day. And we've got our pieces of pipe here. I want to show you what I'm doing. We've got this right there and we got this little piece I took off of there so we're gonna use that to extend it out and this is going to mount right this is gonna mount right here like that and basically create our downpipe and it's gonna bring the exhaust forward and it's gonna go right out the factory outlet right there so let's go ahead and tack this in place get this all fitted up and we are one step closer Here's the downpipe in its situation. As you can see, it clears the metalwork. That's important. And it's gonna come right out the hole. So now we just gotta extend it out to the factory outlet and we're done. A Little bit of flat black for authenticity. Use a diesel after all. And we're ready to go. Side panel's going on and we're gonna drive it around. Okay, cold start, here we go. First run, turbo is completely set up. Oh yeah. this puppy warm up for a minute but she looks good man she's chugging again i'm not expecting anything huge here but i just wanted to turbocharge this diesel tractor and i hope you guys wanted me to also because there's nothing cooler than a turbo diesel right don't get me wrong, I don't expect big power again. I, I'm not looking to see much here, but if it makes any boost at all under load, it's gonna help. So we'll dial the fuel in, we'll do a couple of runs, but for now, let's let her warm up and then take it for a little spin. 
diesel John Deere 330. Turbo. John Deere. Check this out, huh? Let's crank it around here. Alright, you ready? Here we go. Here comes the fucking coal, baby. Woo! How cool is that, huh? I can hear that turbo whistling, too. Under load, this thing going to do a lot better, but uh, it's working. We are making some clouds now. <laughs> I love it. about that the turbo John Deere 330 is complete so uh, I turned the fuel up a little bit on it but um, we're not expecting like I said too much we'll give it a try in the Sun mow some grass see how she does when she gets loaded down I might put a boost gauge on it we'll see that three or four psi that would be exciting very exciting so let me know what you guys think uh, I'm really super pumped on doing stuff like this. Obviously, you guys know me. It's not just about cars. I love these little projects. I love the scooters, the tractors, you name it. Whatever I can get my hands on, I'm down to do it. So uh, let me know what you want to see next. Is it a boat? Is it more jet ski content? Scooters? Cars? Whatever you want to see. The, the most popular thing that we get, uh, I'm, I'll, I'll probably go after it so you guys can see something cool. And... Uh, Hopefully you guys are having a good weekend. I sure am. <laughs> <laughs>